Admittedly, it does get a little bit frustrating when you're trying to time your dashes and stuff and you have the words hit you and knock you over. That shit's a little bit annoying. But it's not a game killer by any fucking means. The combat engine of this game is really cool. It's really neat. It's the same premise as Danganronpa. It's just you get to, like, physically act it instead of just deducing it through minigames and applying logic and scenarios. And that's fucking cool. And V3 was my favorite when it came to that. When did With the perjury like... mechanic and, like, huh? the having to lie to the... be able to, like, find out Wait. the truth and catch oh, somebody in a lie it was cool. As fuck. Oh, no, hold on. Let's slow. Calm down. Yeah, they're all super dead. They're dead. I knew it. <laughs> the evil murderers have been expunged once again. Oh, right. There's still one more. So are we doing this to feed Shinigami's souls of people to power her up or to like enhance her abilities or something? Excuse me, everyone. The culprits behind this incident were Waruna, Karne, and myself. All three of us conspired to poison Karin. Uh, the way we got her to ingest the poison was... I also think Shinigami possessing people after the fact that they die is a little bit weird, but I think it kind of meshes with the tone of the game, in a way. I don't know what your people have done, but next time it won't go your way. Remember that. Yeah, sure, sure, Dami bitch. That's what you said last time. Also, my other complaint about this labyrinth was that, that Phantom Martina did not play a big enough role in it. She was staring at me the whole time. She's gotta be in love with me. No, she has Yomi Hell smile. I guess she can keep the peace of my love as well. Oh, Desihiko got something out of it. I guess it's not a total L for my boy. Hey, what's got you so down? All three of them just died out of nowhere. Nobody's to blame for that. There's no reason for either of us to feel guilty. Yeah, it's not like we murdered Seems somebody. Like all the memories from the mystery labyrinth are completely gone. Master, we're in the clear. All three of their deaths won't be your fault now. Nice. That's not what I'm worried about. Exactly what I needed. I needed a criminal record. Oh, yeah, we definitely don't have to be worried. Oh, fuck yes. Really? The only thing shitty about this is I'm not a girl anymore. I knew you'd come to the rescue. Oh, man, I bet she smells wonderful. Don't push her away. Do the opposite. didn't harm you, did they? Like one of those claw games where you're trying to get a fucking bunch of stuffed animals. Hey, Yuma? I don't want to get in the way of this tearful reunion. And you won't. 30 feet at all times. get out of here. It'll be trouble if the peacekeepers come back. Oh, right. She's taller than me, too? Oh, my. Like, fucking... It's so good, dude. I need to wife her immediately. I need to wife her immediately. I need to wife her immediately. It's gotta happen. There ain't no mystery behind that. There ain't no mystery labyrinth to solve. That's a long-ass loading screen, Chief. Jesus. Go ahead to the agency and put in a good word for you. Thanks, pal. I don't really get how it all ended, but I have a hunch. Yuma, you did all the work, right? <laughs> Mostly. Huh. Huh. Guess he's got that intuition. Shinigami helped. <laughs> Looks like I won't be calling you rookie from here on out. Yeah. Let's keep working together, my man. You'll be Watch calling me husband because I'm going to wife her immediately. Oh, Desihiko, before you go, turn me back into a girl, bro. Shit. Um, Yuma? Yes. Huh? What 
What is it? This tension. Don't tell me. Is this where they made babies? Did something happen? You seem down. Oh, you just yeah. hugged me. How could I possibly oh, be good. depressed? The case was solved. Three lives were lost. Yeah, but they were all murderers, so. I didn't expect Yoshiko and the others to. Yes, you did. <sighs> you said that from the beginning. That's why I'm here. Could it be that their deaths are related to your forte? Yeah. What? Wow. We Is she a detective a too? That was a smart-ass deduction. You know this, but if you say anything about our contract, that was a sharp motherfucking deduction. Are you a detective too, Missy? No, you're a detective too, aren't you? That would make sense if they did it. If she was testing me to see how good I am because she's also a detective, that makes sense. Where I want to go. Will you come with me? That would be a good plot elaboration. Sure. To push the plot along. If she was part of the WDO, that would make sense. If there was some sort of internal in Kanai Ward besides me for me to tag team with. No, because the whole point of the game is like er Yuma experiencing everything and becoming a detective, right? So maybe she's not, but maybe she is. I want to say she is. My instinct is telling me that she is. Why the rooftop? Oh. Are you gonna tell me a truth? You. It's like a secret hideout. I didn't know that Kamasaki had a place like this. Please help me. Kamasaki's full city. of awesome fucking places. Like there's fucking ramen shops and meat bun shops and freaking rain and freaking noodles and freaking glowing neon signs and strip clubs and hot girls and like this place is awesome, dude. Kills those three girls. Yeah, there's a lot of murder in it. Possible for their demise. Yeah, but you didn't kill them. You just feel guilty for killing them. At least their deaths could have been prevented. What exactly did I even solve? It's not a true solution if we can't save everyone. What I gained in exchange for my memories isn't some convenient mystery solving tool. It's a curse, it's yeah. Literally the power of a death god. Yeah, you can bring death to people. What are you musing about? Destroyer of worlds, bro. Come on. You can't reclaim the past. You know how many men dream about being the destroyer of worlds? Either. Come on, Yuma. In the end, Get over your bitch fit, dude. Accept it. accept it. Instead of believing in some vague thing like justice, just believe in the truth. They say there's only one truth, and there's only one type of person who can find their way to that truth. Somebody inquisitive. Detectives. Yep. Even if I have to sacrifice others to find it, I should let so many people die for the truth? Master, you keep going to extremes. It's part of why you're a greenhorn. Uh, seems like you still have much to learn under my guidance. Yeah, like when to press A, what? when to press X, what reasoning tool why to use, I become a detective to seek it? what statement you... to contradict. Huh? Oh, yes? I know I already said this, but thank you so much. You are exactly the kind of person I thought you were. A dumbass? Unqualified? Mean, stupid? You're my hero. Oh, I'm that's nice. No hero. I was just trying to expose. It's gonna truth. happen, dude. But thanks to you, I was saved. If you weren't around, I wouldn't be here today. That's why a detective who exposes the truth is a hero in my book. You were worth saving. Were you were easily worth all three of those girls' lives combined. I'm sorry. Wadana was kind of hot, but she I'm just sure had like the one-track bitch mode, bitch. and I'm not really into that. <sighs> you can be a fucking hot bitch, but you gotta have a dynamic to it. Hasn't seen a hero like you in forever. That's why it's always been so dark here. So please, please continue to be our hero. I have a feeling that at the end of this game, like, the sky is gonna clear, Maybe and it's gonna quit raining here. Memories, and I really hope I it doesn't happen. Because I really love the wet neon time, noir there was a steep price look to, to this game. The truth. Like, when this game first got unveiled, I couldn't so, fucking believe my eyes. Be 
I didn't expect like a new game from Kodaka to fucking come out of left field like that. Being the hero she says I am. Still, I don't want to use Shinigami's powers again. You know she can hear you, right? Is he actually gonna like learn to despise Shinigami? Like, oh, yeah, we made a promise, didn't we? I said I'd tell you about Kanai Ward's ultimate secret after the case was solved. Ooh, yeah, you did, didn't you? Uh, oh, right. you did, didn't you? Hey, you seem like you weren't expecting much, but that's where you're. Oh, wrong. even her pouty face is kind of Just adorable. You and me? She reminds me of Asahina a little bit. Ward's only informant. Informant. Informant? Informant. Are you serious? A high school girl informant? You're part of the WDO, aren't you? I'm still a beginner, though. I started three years ago after taking over from my grandfather. You're part of the WDO, aren't you? Now that the peacekeepers control the city. But you're not a detective. There isn't much of a demand for information anymore. No wonder you know. But so you much have about knowledge that nobody else does. Besides. I haven't felt this nervous since I was chased by those peacekeepers. That also explains why the peacekeepers were after you. <laughs> if Kurumi is an You're a sneaky little snake, aren't you? You have some crucial information about Kanai Ward's ultimate You're a sneaky secret. snake. So, Kurumi, what do you know about Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? Well... It's likely connected to the top secret research that Amaterasu Corporation is conducting. I think it has something to do with why the unified government approved of Kanai Ward's isolation. Top secret research? Approved the isolation? Kanai Ward has always been a city centered around Amaterasu. But there was a lot more freedom in the past. People were allowed to come and go as they pleased. It became an autonomous zone, free from the Yuji's influence only a few years ago. The reason behind it has to do with the top secret research that Amaterasu is conducting. But what is the research? So what kind of research are they conducting? How to morph rabbits detail, into humans? But it's supposed to be able to change the entire structure of the world. All nations and enterprises worldwide want it. This research is what turned Amaterasu into a major global corporation. Oh, I see. So their research is the leverage that they have to be able to have their power and become the de facto leaders of this region. And that's why it got isolated. Yeah. It's gonna say. If that's true, it's some serious stuff. No wonder number one of the WDO would risk his neck here. Do you know any more details about that research? I do know a little bit. Grandpa risked his life to obtain one piece of confidential information about Amaterasu Corp. And I believe that somehow, it has to be related. What do you mean? Research to create a homunculus. An immortal monster. Homunculus? Immortal monster? Okay. No, wait just a minute. Are you serious? I don't have any proof. But it's a fact that Amaterasu Corporation has previously researched homunculi. Homunculi being researched in That's this city. That's not what I expected at all. Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? Immortal monsters? Homunculi? It's turned into a fantasy story out of nowhere. So I'm sure Immortal monsters, <laughs> though. That's all I know. Homunculi, that's... Is my information useful to you? Interesting. Although, most of it was... Not what I expected. Left behind? So when what are the homunculi purpose for is what my next question is. Why? That's why I decided to take over where Grandpa left off as an informant. So, do you think what I've shared might help? Yeah. This is huge. Considering how I had nothing until now. Really? That's great! That gives me a lot of detective. mental work to reason through and oh, theorize uh, about. About that master detective thing. Look! That's where my grandpa used to live! Oh, that takes me back. I wish I could see him again. <sighs> oh well. And that's how you'll keep 
taking advantage of a high school girl. Huh. Damn, Shinigami, come on with the fucking blows. By the way, Kurumi. Bitch. Why do you think your grandfather disappeared? Could it be the peacekeepers? No, I don't think the peacekeepers have anything to do with it. Grandpa vanished before Kanai Ward became isolated. He was just suddenly gone. But I do believe I'll see him again someday. Master, forget about some geezer you don't even know. What about this homunculus stuff? Shinigami knows something she's not telling me about all this research to keep me on the path of being a detective. What is Shinigami's motive? Is she, is she just using me as a vice? Because she's a death god and doesn't have the capability to do it herself. She has to have some sort of underlying motive. But what is my motivation for making the pact with her? It had to have been something that I agreed to. But why? Guess that flat chested Uggo is kinda useful. Maybe I should stop calling her Uggo now. I'll just call her flat. Go ahead. Still gonna hold on to that, huh? I guess this is technically an improvement. You're gonna keep this info. You call her Uggo again, you're getting the hands, bitch. I swear to god. You've slipped my neck open with your scythe at least ten times now. I can fucking slap you across the face once or twice. That's the law of equivalent exchange. Talking about homunculi. You talking about my girl like that? I will fucking slap you! That's not my role. All I can do is investigate Kanai Ward's ultimate secret just a little bit further. The rest should be left to the real master detectives to handle. Sorry, I shouldn't be making jokes about domestic abuse. I might end up like Matt Reif. Is there somebody listening in, or is this just a... It's just a... So are we done? Are we gonna hang out? Are we gonna go on a date? Are we gonna get married? Please tell me. Pleasure is all mine. Yeah. I'm kinda hungry. Maybe you should go buy a meat bun on the way. Maybe we should go out to dinner. You like those meat buns too, huh? Yes, I love them. If only I was still a girl, you could partake in two meat buns. Kind of the comfort food of Kanai Ward. It's like I'm instinctively drawn to them. Oh, would you like to join me, Yuma? Yes! I'll pass. No! Yuma, what are you doing? Fumble in the bag! Yuma, damn it! Why? Most certainly. Yeah, of course. I bet she smells like strawberries. God damn it, Yuma! Why? Uh, I hope she's okay. What a bastard! I couldn't bring myself to say I'll walk you home. Just say it. What are you, twelve? Are you sure you don't want to go back to the agency? Weren't you? Fuck the agency! You just run after her. <gasps> You're right. Oh no! I better hurry back. Oh yeah, we've been gone a long time. I forgot about that. We were on an errand. We've been gone forever. We were supposed to get food for everybody. Whoops. I remember reading something about them increasing and improving loading times. Is this their patchwork for that? It's just like a little Shinigami drawing? And they just coded it in. That's hilarious. If that's the case. Oh yeah, Furio is gonna be so mad. I mean, probably not. He doesn't seem like the kind of person to get mad, but. I still can't believe it's true. Believe it. Does it ring a bell, Chief? Unfortunately, I've never even heard of it. You sure it's not just some rumor? You sure you're not mad at me for dipping out fucking unexpected and not bringing you guys meat buns and hooking up with a hot girl instead and then solving the murder regarding another hot girl and then subsequently getting three other hot girls eaten and killed and murdered and dead? It's better than having nothing at all. Well done, Yuma. Praise from mommy. You're like a dog wagging its tail 
whenever you get complimented. I know. You were late getting back, but I never imagined you'd get yourself into another mess. Yep, here it comes. Uh, what the hell is going on? Uh, I'm so angry. I'm talking with the last. I'm really sorry. Never mind. He's pretty yeah, pissed. Your tail gets tucked between your legs whenever you get yelled at. Hey, hey, unless it's a hot lady. Then a different tail goes up instead of down if you catch my drift. I did not! They picked a fight with me! I was there first! They came after me! I was doing my job! I'm a detective! You're gonna get mad at me for doing my job? Back me up here, Desahiko! Come on, man! Back me up here, Chief! Because Kurumi was really hot. Please remain calm. So, is it true the culprits in that case suddenly died? That makes it similar to what happened in the mailman case. Yeah, maybe just disregard that. Moreover, it is also similar in that those involved in each case, like Desahiko and myself, maybe, 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 maybe forget about that. Wife. There are too many forget about that. traits to call it a coincidence. Forget about it! Uh, I'll pay you that fee you wanted. Huh? The memories related to the case disappear. <laughs> Perhaps it is due to someone's forte. Uh, uh, I know you're stupid and cute, but don't start acting no smart or I'm gonna have to bring out the hand. I don't wanna have to do that. You're cute. Besides, no one Fubuki. Has an ability like I like that. you so far. Don't make me regret liking you. It'd be one thing if we were anywhere else in the world, but we're in Kanai Ward. This isn't the kind of also, place I will say that Mystery Labyrinth didn't take as long as I expected it to himself. take. It took like, what, two and a half hours? If someone got officially dispatched here, that wasn't that bad. I, would know. I spent anyway, like six or seven minutes on that one so fucking reasoning right. thing, but everything else wasn't all that bad. The case is closed, and we got new information. It's a fantastic step forward. It's springtime, and all is right in the world. Except for the fact that I'm not on a date with Karumi having meat buns, maybe. And we've had nothing but trouble. Just what the hell is going on here? It's like the hand of death itself. God, dude, I forgot how sexy your voice is. You know what they say. The greater the detective, the more often they encounter death. Isn't that right? You love. God. Uh, I, I, dude, Yuma's in the same boat, man. Did you hear the noise he just made? In a way, My panties are wet and I'm not even wearing any. Uh, don't take it the wrong way. Oh my lord. I mean that as a compliment. Men are not supposed to sound that sexy. <laughs> Men are not supposed to sound that hot. is too much of a hassle. Jesus Christ. A cool nickname, Yuma. No way! I don't want a nickname like that. Really? But it sounds so awesome. It does. It seems death has taken a liking to you, Yuma. That's one of your talents, in a way. Sheesh! I'll never understand this guy. I'll figure out how to discipline Yuma later. I have now, to not ever talk to, to Vivia Twilight to again. I cannot be caught acting horny on main. I can't. I can't. Vice Director Martina, I can't. Right? She's Director Yomi's right hand woman. But he's so sexy. I heard she's both his close advisor and his mistress. What? I'm sure they're gonna make him. He's banging somehow. that tall glass of water. Are you serious? He's banging that tall it. glass of Fiji. Come on, man. That's right. Sometimes the more the merrier. There's quality and then there's quantity. I got quantity. I got Karumi Wendy. I got Vivia Twilight. I got Holler Run Nightmare and I got Fubuki Clockford. I got all of it. I even got Desahiko. Fuck it. I don't even care if I die. I got to hear Vivia Twilight's sexy ass voice. I don't even care. It's worth it. I would drown. Where? Everyone. I never want to hear his voice again. I don't need so to hear it again. His sexy voice was enough to kill me. That's what I'm drowning in. I'm drowning in Riz.
Holy fuck, dude. Hell of a game. The voice acting talent. Kaboom! Oh, it sank, all right. <laughs> oh, this shit. Is the bolt of judgment, the fire of purification, a supernova explosion! Hey, who prepared that torpedo? Unfortunately, it was I, Martina Electro. Ah, uh, I figured it was you. Are you two gonna bang? And if so, can I watch? Oh, that fuck. Wasn't enough firepower! I told you to blow up the whole river and vaporize them, didn't I? Now it just looks like I'm causing chaos. Half-assed executions of the law are nothing but senseless violence. I told you to demonstrate perfect order. Listen. I didn't expect him to fucking kick her square in the abdomen like that. God damn. Absolute and completely blows everything away without a trace. I'm terribly sorry, Director Yomi. Now smack her on the no ass matter. a little bit. You are my beloved right hand. You only need to remain by my side. Yes, thank you. I will forever be by your side to serve you. Oh my god. The thing is. Even though you're my beloved right hand, you still need to be punished. Don't say that! That's just gonna make her more excited! You, you can't idiot! even solve a case caused by a couple of brats. Not to mention the detectives escaped under your watch. That is true. But it's alright. Don't worry. You are my beloved right hand. I'm not letting I that right hand you. joke go. I need you to stay pretty for me forever. Okay, that's I, a little creepy. I understand. That's some House of Wax bullshit. So what is my punishment? Yeah, what is her See punishment? This? It's a recent invention by Amaterasu Corporation called a high performance presser. Okay. It can compress up to 50 kilograms of material and instantly turn it into a cube. Uh huh. Even humans can be turned into pretty little cubes. Okay. Huh? I'll keep you on my person at all times, so you'll always be by my side. Okay. You are my beloved right hand. Oh my lord. Please wait. What? You, you must be joking. Hey, you. Take my beloved right hand over there. Oh my lord. Director Yomi, please. Wait. This is dark, dude. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck. Oh, Martina. This guy's a motherfucking psychopath. You you go. What's love? <laughs> oh my god. Director Yomi! Director Yomi! She is dead. All right. Now, let's go find the corpses of those detectives. Wow, dude. Up. Holy shit. This dude is fucked in the head. Oh, that is so awesome. This dude is way more fucked up than I gave him credit for when I met him the first time. Oh my god. Wow. Good day, sir. What's that? You don't know? I guess not, since you're still new. That's number one, the leader of the World Detective Organization. Th that's him? I had no idea. Why would someone that high up be here underground? There's a book vault here. It's a secret book vault that only number one can enter with his biometrics. It supposedly contains data from generations of great detectives, sealed books, and so on. So just a theory, am I actually number one? Don't even and the leader of the WDO is you. one of those homunculi? Because if I, number I one is the greatest I'm detective in the world and he's been around for a long time, what I'm assuming is that I'm the real number one and I'm probably working within Amaterasu somehow. Either undercover or something else, I'm not sure. But... Oh, 
Just the game. Me? <laughs> Kidding. Don't take it so seriously, you man. Oh. So I'm not number one at all. But if there's homunculi, that means there's replications and clones. So that means that the person that I passed coming out of the subway very well could be me. So maybe I'm a homunculus. Maybe I'm a homunculi. Possibly. That's why I said this gives me a lot to theorize about. Wait, where am I? Please tell me I'm in Fubuki's apartment. Am I in Fubuki's Wait, apartment? Where am I? Am I in Vivia's apartment? The hell out of me. But weren't you by my side the whole time? Don't you know what happened to us? Like that time back at the Amaterasu Express. I was only able to stay awake back then because we just made the pact and we weren't fully synchronized yet. Oh, I see. But that didn't work this time. When you lose consciousness, my vision also goes dark. So am I Actually, within Amaterasu right now? Because this seems explosion, really ritzy. No laughing matter. Anyway, because your biological activity stabilized, I was also able to wake up. Everything's a okay so far. Now let's go find out where we are. I want to go exploring so bad. My eyes are. I want to make a joke right now, so fucking bad, That's but I won't. That's a bit dramatic. We're in the jungle, where baby. Are we? We're gonna let's die. Check this out for now. All right, let's go figure out where the fuck we are. Ooh, this is really ritzy. Holy shit. Oh, dude, we have got to be in the Amaterasu Tower. We have to be. Who's there? Who's this? Hi there. Nice to meet you. Hi. I sure look suspicious, huh? No, just kind of weird. I've seen this guy on the cover of the game, but I have no idea who the fuck this guy is. I'm assuming this guy is the leader of Amaterasu. Either that or he's another informant. Or something like that. Let's see how we did. Okay. Huh? Huh? Damn it! Okay, we got sass. That's not bad. We didn't get double S, though. We got really close, I think. Not bad. 